On the day of the Wagner Group's attempted coup against the Kremlin, the group's leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, Yevgorov's first stop was Libya, where he met with Khalifa Haftar, a powerful faction commander controlling eastern Libya. Wagner had supported Haftar, allowing Russia to use the country as a logistics hub for operations across Africa. In Libya, Andrei Avrianov, a major general in the GRU, Russia's military intelligence agency, was present. Western intelligence agencies allege he led a GRU unit responsible for assassinations in Europe and is now overseeing Russia's operations in Africa. The delegation's next stop was Burkina Faso, where they met with Captain Ibrahim Traore, the interim leader of the country. Burkina Faso had become Wagner's new target, and the visit highlighted Russia's continued interest in gaining a foothold. Konstantin Merzans, leader of the private military company Redut, accompanied Yevgorov. Redut was one of the companies chosen by the Kremlin to take over parts of Wagner's operation in Africa. It had a history of protecting Russian assets in fighting in Ukraine and Syria. This transition indicates Putin's shift towards making deals with client states in Africa and the Middle East, ensuring stability with the help of PMCs like Redut. Redut is financed by Gennady Timchenko, an oligarch close to Putin. This new structure replaces Prigozhin's role as a financier with members from Putin's innermost circle. The delegation's third stop was the Central African Republic, deeply entrenched with the Wagner Group. They met with President Faustin Tuadera, who was protected by Wagner fighters and desired continuity after Prigazin's death. The Kremlin also tapped another PMC called Convoy. PMC Convoy, led by Konstantin Pikalov and financed by Arkady Rotenberg, was founded recently and recruits fighters for missions in Africa. These entities form a network of organizations supported by the GRU. The delegation's final stop was Mali, where the trio of Yevkarov, Avrianov, and Merzants met with the country's military junta. Mali had been a challenging theater for Wagner, struggling to expand government-controlled territory. Replacing Wagner in Africa is a high-stakes task, as commanders on the ground face difficulties in maintaining stability and coherence. <laughs> Nevertheless, Russia remains committed to its new structure for expanding influence in Africa. In September, the same delegation made return trips to Libya and Mali, showing Russia's determination to strengthen its presence in these regions. The post prigazin era marks a significant shift in Russia's strategy in Africa, as they seek to maintain and expand their influence on the continent through a network of PMCs in close ties to Putin's inner circle.